Hey y'all, Mythic Rare here. Thank you to all my A1 Day 1 subscribers. I can't believe that there are 261 of you. And if anybody is new here or just passing through, welcome. Um, yes, if any of y'all are longtime viewers, like ever since I first started, you might recognize this one. This was actually a special drill partial kit from Craftably that I kind of got burnt out on during Summer with the Masters last year and I'm just like oh well, I didn't finish this and Summer with the Masters is back like now is the perfect time. I'm not doing this one for prizes I'm just kind of doing this one to finish it. So uh yeah if you want to go ahead and like laugh at how derpy that first unboxing was and how nervous I was because it was quite literally the first kit unboxing that I ever had on my channel. Uh, here it is. I'm gonna like put it up there in the iCards. Uh, so yeah. Um, this is a Diamond Art Club pen. This is a Enablers Outpost pen. I got this golden tray as a free gift with purchase from Nyx Notions. And then um, I have some Randa's Crafty Corner Putty and that multi-placer, but just in case we need it, we have some blue wax uh, from Mini Maid. So yes, um, I was actually kind of planning doing something a little bit different this week, but there have been tag questions making the rounds. So I decided let's go ahead and answer those tag questions from Crafting with Shay while they are still relevant. So, uh, question number one, what is the thing you appreciate the most about your physical appearance? Or what is one thing you appreciate about your physical appearance? Um, I guess I would have to say my hair because, um, I get tons of compliments on on my hair, especially like growing up, not so much now because, you know, um, I'm getting older, my hair is starting to change. It's not as pretty as it once was, but um, it is very, very long. So long, in fact, that I have to either put it up into giant claw clips or have it go in hairpins or hair forks during the summer because, uh, yeah, like there is so much of it that scrunchies, like regular scrunchies will not do. Like I'd have to have some of those XXL <laughs> scrunchies. Um, yeah, like my hair is massively long. It's down to my hips. Even though y'all can't see it, it is. It's wavy and it's the darkest shade of brown before there is like a true natural black. And sometime in the future, you might be able to see it, but my computer is like 12 years old. It's a wonder it even turns on, much less allows me to edit videos. So um, a massive computer upgrade or re more like replacement will have to happen first before y'all see me on a live. Not to say that it won't ever happen, but it's just, you know, barriers to entry, what can I say? Question number two. What's the one thing you are the most grateful for in relationships or friendship? I would have to say integrity because, um, Teenage girls in high school can be just downright brutal. Um, I'm not going to, you know, get into too much detail other than that. Uh, just after dealing with some drama over somebody trying to uh, steal my date for steal my date and succeeding at stealing my date for homecoming that yeah um I started to cut people off real quick 
Question number three. What's the most valuable thing you've learned from failure? If you do not plan, you are planning to fail. Age old adage. Because if we think about it, like, I work for one of the airlines. So if there's something happening, like a hurricane, <laughs> Um, I have to make videos ahead of time and extra videos to account for when I will not be able to film because I will be busy trying to pick up the pieces from people's vacations and stuff like that that got disrupted due to Mother Nature. So, yeah, there's that aspect of it, but also right now especially it pays to do that extra bit of research before you even go to do a grocery trip and find out you know what ingredients do your recipes have in common like is buying that bulk bag of onions compared to one onion going to be cheaper because i'm going to make a few meals that require onions you know like like case in point <laughs> You can save a few bucks that way. Question four. If you could learn any language instantly, which would it be? That was really, really hard for me to answer. Uh, I am honestly torn in between two languages, and that is Japanese and Filipino. So, the reason why Japanese is because I am a nerd. <laughs> I like to watch anime, so if I could, you know, like, just, if I am reading a series and I didn't want to wait for scanslations, like, for the manga, or I didn't want to wait for, like, an English dub of the anime, which could sometimes take years, um, like, I would be able to just, like, read the weekly mangas that come out. Like, that would just be insane. And then... You know, like, for certain games like Final Fantasy XIV, the Japanese voice actors, <laughs> they, they sound like that sounds a lot cooler than the English. I mean, the English, it doesn't sound that bad, but, you know, it's just, when it comes to certain things, it is better if you can just, like, hear it like, in its natural state, if you know what I mean. Um, and then we also have a family member who is currently deployed in Japan right now. And my mom says that I have a aunt who lives in Japan. So, and there's the fact that my boyfriend and I would love to take a bucket list trip to Japan. So there is, like... There's a few, like, really fun reasons for me to learn. But uh, the other language that I would like to learn is Filipino. And that is a little bit more practical because my mom is Filipino. So that means that I could communicate easier with our family members in Bohol, Armok, and Cebu, and they would be absolutely over the moon if I could talk to them in their native language because um, I know, like, a lot of schools down there, they start teaching English, like, in school and stuff like that, but the older adults, um, they know some words, but they don't know quite enough to hold a conversation because it wasn't, you know, really a requirement 
for them at least like not where my family is on like the island of Bohol. I know like we've United States has had a military presence there ever since the Spanish-American War. So it's like if they would have been like, I think it's like over by Manila where they have the, the military base, like correct me if I'm wrong, but if they would have been like living over by Manila, like by the capital, then uh, they may... Or if they were in, like, a really big city, like Cebu, then they might know more. But, um, no. Some of my, some of my elders over there, like, like, they don't, they don't know. <laughs> so, that would make things immensely easier to communicate with if I ever went back for a visit. Um... Question number five. What's your favorite way to start your day? Coffee! Because I stop running into walls. I magically start doing my chores. And as we all know, coffee make brain work gooder. Mm. Question number six. What's your favorite way to spend a rainy day? Um, well, that depends. Am I working? <laughs> because if I'm working, well, you know, but if I'm not scheduled to work that day, then doing this diamond painting, typically green tea on my left, diamond painting front and, front and center, and then my diamond painting storage and accessories on the right and then if diamond painting doesn't strike my fancy then it would be either video games or it would be um art or adult coloring books or i'm just like doing my nails but regardless of the situation green tea is non-negotiable Number seven, what's your favorite movie quote? <clears throat> <clears throat> Say hello to my little friend! Tony Montana from Scarface. If that movie is before your time, or if you... Does it ring any bells? Google the movie. That's all I'm going to say. Number eight, if you won the lottery, how would you spend it? Well, um, first of all, you have to play in order to win. Typically, I don't play, but if the right birthdays came in for Powerball or Mega Millions or if I took a trip to Vegas and... I somehow got the machine that was willing and decided to pay out for me. Here's what I would do, and in no particular order. I would ask the Oklahoma lottery to keep my identity a secret, if it's something like the Powerwall or whatever. Um, and then I would start doing my homework and get set up with a fiduciary ASAP and like tidy up my portfolio for retirement, you know, like get all the adulting out of the way. So then I could figure out, um, how much extra am I getting each month? And what debt gets cleared out first? Would it be the credit cards? Would it be student loans? Um, well, the car is already paid off. So, you know, like 
but I'd start seeing, I'd start like looking around like, what am I going to pay down first? And if I had enough money to pay it all, well, dang it, I am paying it all. And then after all of that is done, I would take a look at my work and see if I can go to working part time. I wouldn't quit my job because then that might, you know, tip some people off in Facebook or whatever. Like, I wouldn't want to keep this a secret. Otherwise, I'm going to have like 50 bajillion cousins once removed coming out of the woodwork with their hand held out, you know. But, um... I would keep my job, so when I keep my help of blah, 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 words. If I could speak, I'd be dangerous. Um, but also, give me credit, I just finished an eight and a half hour shift. Uh, if I would ask around at work, see if I could go to part time. So then I keep my health benefits and all of that. I don't have to pull from my 401k anytime soon. I would just, you know, be... In fact, I would actually probably, um, like, start up a separate retirement fund and I'd have that be Roth, but, <laughs> um... But no, I would actually keep my job because at the end of the day, I would probably get pretty bored. I mean, of course, I'd want to go full time on YouTube. Like that's like that would be a thing. Whether I would decide at that point to split into two channels and then have one channel for the diamond painting, the other for the adult coloring, I don't know. But, you know, I would most certainly go full-time with YouTube. Another thing that I would do, speaking of the family members in the Philippines, is I'd ask my mom who inherited my grandma's house, if it was her, if it was my Aunt Carmen or if it was my cousin Edsel and then I would like ask them do they have a residential water tower yes you can have a mini water tower and a pump for just your house it is a very real thing and I mean, it'll cost several thousand dollars and you'll have to hire, like, probably some of your strongest, you'll probably want to hire, like, some of the strongest uh, workers in the area to go do it, to go put one up, but it is possible. In case anybody, like, doesn't know, why would you want your own miniature water tower um, because the island of Bohol doesn't have running water like how we do here in the states. On my grandma's property there was a well and it must have went down like 40-50 feet. Granted it's raining there all the time. Oh I dropped I dropped my gems on the ground, so hang on. But um, it's raining all the time, so they don't, like, because it's rainforest, they don't, you know, necessarily have, like, the worries that we do here in Oklahoma with water or certainly not, you know, as much as in Phoenix where I grew up. But, um, but they have a well, and we were fortunate enough to have a crank and a pulley system so it's like you got um a five gallon bucket attached to a rope and the rope is like kind of sort of like on a 
on like a cream and then you can just like or I don't know if it was like a pulley or something but I think it was actually a pulley but it was a rope attached to a bucket to a pulley and you could just like like hand over hand pull the rope one way and pull up the bucket of water and then you drop the bucket down it goes down and then you grab the rope and then you like pull her back up again and you get however many buckets you need and then you take those buckets and then you feel like a really really big bucket or you fill your bathtub or whatever inside in the house and like use it for whatever you're going to use it for um there i mean like yeah they do have like municipal like city water but they tend to shut off their water by like two or three o'clock in the afternoon and um the power they don't have power all the time like they'll have like rolling brownouts and stuff like that because their power infrastructure was still developing i don't know how much of that still holds true because the last time i went to visit was back in I want to say 2000, like it was early 2000s. I want to say maybe 2000 and then I went again in like 2003. But yeah, it's like, it's like total complete, uh, culture shock over there and then just like having that on demand access to water like you don't have to go exert yourself to get it and it's like regardless of what the city has planned that day or whatever like you can just turn the spigot or turn the knob on the faucet and there it is like that would just be game changer for them and of course, like, out, and then Alex and I would book that bucket list trip to Japan. And last but certainly not least, I would start hunting my unicorns. <laughs> like, I would be in all of the D stash groups. I would have like I would just be putting out feelers everywhere trying to get my hands on dragon spirit sleeps with butterflies under the stairs and the flower delivery like I would just start hunting down all of those kits And then question number nine, what's the best excuse for getting out of something or quitting something you don't want to do? Well, I mean, like just universally, I would say that that is the big C. Um, but for me specifically, I think that that would be, oh no, I'm out of insert name of antihistamine here because allergies. Um, or I would say, I need to take a rain check. I'm having a sinus infection. <laughs> and of course, number 10, what is your favorite way to recharge and find inner peace? Well, I don't have one. I have, I have multiple. It really just depends on what strikes my fancy. Um, most days it is going to be diamond painting, but if I'm bored of that, then art will do it, adult coloring will do it. Um, if I just got paid that day, then I will go to the salon, put my phone in airplane mode, and go get my nails done. Like, if I have extra money, I would... I would do that right now. I don't. That's why my nails have been naked for like the longest time.
But anywho, those are the 10 tag questions. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you've seen me more than once today, then go ahead and hit the subscribe if you want me to be a regular part of your algorithm. Also, I have a community post going on right now. I've been noticing that there's a lot of people, like a lot, a lot of people who have just like joined the craft and they're starting to make videos. I'm noticing that there are tons that go up on Sunday and my videos are just not getting the exposure that they were getting previously. I'm thinking about maybe posting in the middle of the week instead, like Wednesday. Let me know if that's good by voting on my community tab. I will toss a link down in the description for you. And then if Wednesday's not a good day, just like comment down below. What day do you think I should put videos up? All right. Well, until next time, I hope you have a great weekend and see y'all later. Bye.